and so he went to get checked out by the medics they said they'd like to run a couple of tests we believe he's okay it's nothing to be too alarmed about and we obviously wish him well but he's taken the sensible precaution I think to go and get himself checked out because James Wade has played some excellent stuff this weekend he's playing some excellent stuff at the minute uh, go and make sure that his health's okay and then he can come back and continue being excellent and have loads more opportunities but what it does do it gives an opportunity for Dimitri Vandenberg to play in his first European Tour final and he too has been excellent all weekend and he goes up against mighty Michael Van Gerwen two Euro Tour titles already this year it is a fascinating contest Dimitri has been consistently brilliant this weekend. Van Gerwen has been at times mind-blowing. But a little vulnerable at others. Paul Nicholson alongside me. It is Mighty Mike versus the Dream Maker. First to eight legs for £25,000. The prestigious European Darts Open title. And for what Dimitri hopes will be a first Euro Tour title. It will be a really good first for him to join a very select group of people who have won this tournament including the man he's facing who has won it four times first winner Raymond van Barneveld 2012 Robert Thornton the only other one-time champion the other two won by Peter Wright it's an illustrious list so when you put Dimitri in those kind of circles it's not out of place, that's for sure. There's very little between them in the stats for the weekend. Both averaging over 100. Both over the 110 in the first nine average. Both around the sort of low to mid 40s percent in terms of finishing. And they're both in double digits in terms of the 180s. But remember, of course, Michael Van Gogh has played that extra game. So Dimitri has been hitting 180s at a spectacular rate this weekend. 50 not. Now Cameron Menzies, Martin Schindler and Josh Rock with not too great a degree of fuss. A little bit of aggression in the face of Dimitri before he went for this 170 attempt. And we saw plenty of that when he played in the quarterfinals against Josh Rock. 164 is not going to go. So Dimitri with the first move. A nice move after 12. There's going to be plenty of legs like this in this match I feel leaving the double after four visits. First blood, Belgium. And he's looking to join a very short list of Belgian European Tour winners. It only includes one person, his World Cup teammate, Kim Hybrex, who's been in five finals and won two of them. Yeah, well, incredibly, we started this year, didn't we, talking about Dimitri Vandenberg, and I tipped him as somebody who's going to go and do all sorts of things this year. He'd been a little bit quiet for the last few weeks, but he did show at the start of the year that he is one to watch, because when he went on a run at the German Darts Championship all the way to the semi-finals and faced MVG and missed darts to beat him, when it looked like the title could well be his, well, it was only the second time he'd ever reached the final session of a Euro Tour. Oh, first was the first one this year, in recent. So, having never reached the final session of action on the European Tour this year, he's done it three times. We're only in the fifth event. So, we are seeing Dan as he seems oh, to have cracked it. Well, there's no reason. There's no reason, Dimitri Vandenberg shouldn't be a massive force on the Euro Tour. We know he's had a big stage game for years and years and years. It was the floor stuff that he was trying to figure out in senior darts. But he figured that out. He's now won a couple of floor titles. And now maybe the last piece of the puzzle is to get the knack of this Whoa. European Tour stuff, which is a precursor to things like the European Championship, the UK Open and the Players' Championship Finals. 17. Oh, leaves a double after 12. Yeah. Expect it to happen. Can I say at this juncture, though, just how awful the draw has been for MVG? If he wins this title, this will go in the top tier of wins. Speaking of tops, it's 1 1 for the break back straight away. But look at that. Gurney, Clayton, Dirk, Humphreys, 
and Vandenberg. Yeah. What a list to go through for a win. It is quite a list. And look, Gurney was playing brilliantly against him. He had to pull out a top, I mean, oh, very top draw performance to beat Gurney. Clayton, all right, he was in danger. But then again, Johnny Clayton is arguably up there with MVG and whoever else is the best player in the world right now. It was likely to be close. Oh, it was another classic right. between them. Dirk van Dijvenbode should have beaten him. But he found a way to get through it. And Luke Humphreys, he dished out a bit of revenge oh, after defeat in Munich at the semi-final stages. So, yeah, it's been a very impressive list of scalps for MVG. Not that it's been easy for Dimmy, but he's made it look easy. That's it. Nobody's got close, really. Martin yeah, Schindler had a, had a go, but he, he was always struggling to live with him. It was a, a big 105 average from Dimitri in that game. Closed it out well. Oh, before things got a little bit nervy, potentially. But beating MVG, look, he's, he's the end of level, he's the end of game boss of this sport, particularly for Dimitri. This is the tenth time he's played him, he's only won once. Oh, it's a World four, Series though. event in Gelsenkirchen, the football ground in front of a world record crowd, 20,000 darts fans. And he didn't win the tournament. No, got to the final. Lost to Mensua. Not sure there were quite 20,000 by the time the final finished. But there were 20,000 earlier on in it. I wonder if they'll do that again. That was no, the answer. Answer. Not, not all in one day. I love the size of the walk-on area. Yes. It was almost WrestleMania-like. Now, a 155 is not out of reach for Dimitri. Biggest finish of the week for him, 106. And that is going to remain the case for now. Oh, this is not one of those clinical legs where a double has been left after 12. Some connection needs to be made. Yeah. And it is made. Yeah. It's almost like he meant to do that. He in rhythm. Yeah. And that's exactly what Dirk didn't do against Michael maybe a couple of hours ago. He found himself just out of rhythm and too uncomfortable at the key shots at the end. Oh, yeah, so Michael Van Gerwen is obviously an incredibly difficult opponent to beat, but Dirk's main opponent was himself at the back end of that day. Maximum for MVG. What we've got here in this game is almost like Harvey two faces coin. Two very different sides. You've got someone going for their first European tour victory and someone going for their 35th. It just sounds ridiculous. Yeah, the, the bad news for Dimitri is when Van Gogh has been getting to finals this year, he's winning them. Oh, four Jesus. out of four so far this year. Two players' championships, two Euro tours. Not to say he hasn't been in danger leading up to those finals. But once he's got there, he's been good. Oh, three. Just going to ask you a quick question and just give me a yes or no. Is Michael Van Gogh going to get to 50? 50 euros. Oh, yes. 34. Yes. Will that ever be beaten? No. I concur. Next question. Are you looking forward to 1800 next year? Because the 100th European Tour event is going to be in 2023. Oh, don't know where it will be. We know where this will be. Right there. 11 data. Michael Van Gogh asserting himself early on in this contest. Maybe getting into third or fourth gear now with that 11 daughter, causing problems for Dimitri. And he's starting legs really well. Oh, Look, Paul, you've, you've got a more insight into this. Dimitri would have been getting ready to play James Wade in the semi finals. Now, obviously, it's to, me, to Dimitri's benefit oh. that he's got the bye through to the final. And yes, we've had a sort of 15, 20 minute break where that news has, has been told to oh, the so right, you're in the final, one. it's Michael. Is there, as David Hetter there, Dimitri's housemate when he's based over in the UK? Is it a difficult thing when you're thinking you're playing oh, one person in a semi-final and then all of a sudden you're in your first Euro Tour final and you're playing Michael Van Gogh? Is, is that something that's very easy as a professional dance player who's used to playing and preparing for big games against big name players is it an easy thing to deal with or will they will it have thrown him a little i think it may have thrown him at first he probably needed about two or three minutes to realize what was going on 
So you're not playing a final four match. You're actually going into your first final. So you need two or three minutes just to come to terms with that and then realise, OK, my next match is not the 3,500 ranking points. It's the 15,000 ranking points. But he's very much at ease with it. You saw he started the match very well. But in order to stay in this match, he's going to need a lot more in his arsenal. I don't think anything frustrates Dimitri, but this might. But what a chance to get back within one. You've got to grab these opportunities and go to the right table first. And he's been second best in this contest so far, Dimitri Vandenberg. But if he takes this 83, it's a break of throw and he'll be thrown to level the match at 3 all. Very much game on. If he doesn't, he's in real trouble. Great guy. Yeah. I think he's got the crowd. What did Russell Cross do? No, it wasn't Russell Cross, it was Oliver Reed. Win the crowd. I think he's won the crowd. He's got himself close. To MVG and now we're back on throw and we saw in the quarterfinals that Dirk would play at his own pace. It annoyed Michael Van Gogh in that, he, he, he was pretty vocal about it in the players room, you could see, like Dirk I think, my reading of the situation Sick. was that Dirk was just trying to not play MVG's game, not play at his pace, if he wants to slow down he can do, if he wants to walk wherever on the stage he can do, he's not going to be cowed by the enormous presence of the you know an icon of the sport and it slightly annoyed Michael Van Gogh isn't that? now Dimitri I think there's an, an element of that you remember that incredible game at well, the world match play last year against Gerwin Price when Price was shouting and screaming and bawling and getting really annoyed with Dimitri taking his time oh, and slowing know. things down and Dimitri didn't care he said, I don't care what you do, it doesn't, you, can, you can't intimidate me. You can't intimidate my shouting or your presence or who you are or anything. I'm going to play my game and give myself the best chance of playing well. You have to do that. If you're too busy pussyfooting around all these great players, oh, sorry, sir. Sorry, oh, you want me to throw faster, do you? Okay, yes, I'll do that. You're, you're already dancing to their tunes. You don't have to go there and actively spoil the game. You just play it how you want to play it. I once had a player come up to me and say, you were slowing me down there. You were making yeah, me miss and all this kind of stuff. And they were complaining after they beat me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to name the player because I think that's a little disrespectful, but I was absolutely puzzled by that. Now, the puzzle here is very simple. 60 plus 40 equals 133. And he slipped into the eights. Has that Six. turned out to be a, a good mix? Six. You're better off hitting the treble eight than you are hitting the single 16, aren't you? Because he's going to come back with three darts at a double, where if he hit the single 16, he might have had to come back and burn a dart to get to him. The gap between visits is getting wider. And this game is being played at Dimitri's pace now. And he's fully entitled to do this. There's nothing wrong with it. He's a very thoughtful man. Yeah, and it is going three for the 16 dart holes. And going back to your question about what happened with James in the semi final, he's very thoughtful about all the people around him. He's a, a lovely, lovely man. He'll always say hi, how are you, how's the family, that kind of thing. He'll be genuinely upset and maybe worried about James. Oh, absolutely, yeah, from the same management stable as well. That would have been his first thought, but. He's a professional dark player at the same time. That little flick of the switch in the brain, which I was talking oh, about earlier in the week with Cameron Menzies. He'll have the same little switch. Got to say, right, opportunity knocks. Get it now. Well, he doesn't have the greatest record in finals. Hey, in senior finals, he's won three, including obviously the big one, the world match play. A couple of players' championship finals. But he's, he's lost a oh, further six. And where some, you see some players with records in finals, and yeah, they've lost six finals, and five of them might be to peak Michael Van Gogh. 
Six, six, it's the first time he's played MPG in the finals. Just a range of different players. All excellent players, of course. One of the sprints to mind for me is uh, Glenn Durrant. Oh, oh yes! yes. Oh, no oh, need to go God. for it, but maybe he's, he's trying to win the crowd win. himself. Yeah. A statement shot from MVG. Oh, <laughs> there was a grumbly face there from MVG when he was doing a bit of Alan Norris calisthenics. Oh, a bit of fanning action of the old shoulders and rear deltoids there. The experience of the man who's won 34 of these. 96. Just sticking down a marker. Had a little chat with Michael. I don't get much time to, to chat with him these days. We go in different circles. I've spent a lot of time with him in his career. 97. That was a really good performance yesterday. And he said, yeah, it was all right, wasn't it? He knows that he's back oh, doing what he on. should be doing. He certainly, his presence in the practice room this weekend is noticeably, he's oh, energetic. Like, he's the one who fills the room with his presence. It's a lot more relaxed as well. Yeah, he, look. He believes, and he's believed all the way through that he's the best player in every room he walks into. But reality has begged to differ at times over the last couple of years. It is still a very valid argument to have, but he's certainly a lot closer to winning it than he has been in recent months and years. Now Dimitri. These are the small battles that you need to win. Two singles for tops. It's not going to go through the post. Yeah. It's going around them. Phenomenal shot. And it is tied after eight. Well, this has been a game of so few errors. Van Gerwen, four out of six on the doubles, Dimitri four out of five, and just a nonchalant little smirk from Van Gerwen. That was positively Cullen style. It was a bit. Aberdeen, just, you what? You said what? Six. I think Michael's been knocking on a lot of doors over the last couple of years, and now that the Euro Tour is back to normal, Something else is getting back to normal. And I remember a name daughter he hit in this building a few years ago. It was on this very shot. Oh, he, got? Like we he missed the double for oh, it yesterday. Doesn't even get close to the double this time around. But Dimitri Vandenberg oh, isn't close to him in this leg. 4-4 four, four in a race to eight. Michael Van Gerwen looking very, very good to make it 5-4. Yeah, if Dimitri's going to win this leg, he's going to need three porcupines. Mm. 41-197. Out of canter. Out she goes in 11. No, it's 12. So on his throw, he's looking really, really strong all of a sudden. Two 12 darters the last time he threw first, and a 12 darter when he threw first before that. Really good stuff. Winning legs, 11, 12, 12, 13, and then an 18 darter. Oh, they're still chanting for Dimitri, they want the underdog. We like it. The European Tour final that goes all the way. They're the good ones. Maybe we could get one. Six. So far this year, the closest we've seen the finals get her 8-5 both of those the ones that MVG won he would take that right now he certainly would to widen his gap at the top of the European to her order of merit 42 I wonder if he's got a goal in mind and how many of these he can win this year 100 for two successive legs now, Michael Van Gerwen has gone back to back 180s and it is turning the screw here on Dimitri Vandenberg who's raising the eyebrows and shaking his head as if he's powerless to stop the green machine. Double 18. He's left on double nine when he comes back but the worrying thing for the Belgian is that his scoring seems to have 
disintegrated over the last two or three legs. Yeah. Oh, His average has gone down to 85. Yeah, just when MVGs is ignited. Six four, and Michael Van Gerwen thinks he's got this one in the back. At this stage, I'd have to agree with him, but it's only a two-leg gap. Dimitri, if he wants to win this final, has to win it. Four one from here, or four nil. That's a big ask, considering what we've seen from Michael very recently. And it's the same old thing, Dan. Last week we had the same conversation. Oh. Austrian darts to open. Barely gets a loss in this tournament. He's only lost in this one in 10 years four oh. times. He hasn't lost in this tournament since 2017 when Rob Cross beat him in the last 16. Imagine the feeling of invincibility when he walks back through these doors for the first time in three years. Oh. And he's in this position again to win again. Well, it is first to eight. There's still a chance. Oh, Dimitri van der Berg can afford to lose one more leg, but it is only one more leg, and you see a 15 point difference in the average there. Oh, he is not going to win this, Dimitri van der Berg, with that gap in the averages. They have to come together. Oh, this is a decent leg from Dimmy, but it might have to go this 1-2-1. One, one. Yep, go on, Johnny Clayton style. 1-2-1. One, one. Follow the ferret. The ferret knows. Knows where to go. You can't follow the ferret, Michael Van Gerwen, to go within a leg of victory. Experience there, wasn't comfortable. Does he a double five? 79. He's off lane by a good. Is he required 25? I don't think that one came out perfectly, but it's good news for Dimitri to get within one. Double eight. Oh, oh no! no. no oh no! Van Gogh went in for the kill immediately. Down to the three. Leaves double one. Eight. Wow. Is your letter. Now, do not be thinking about the double eight and forget about the single nine. Okay. There we go. I don't know if Dimitri Vandenberg thought he'd get another chance to take out that 25, but he has done. He's taken it. It's a break of throw. And Dimitri Vandenberg, who a couple of legs ago, when Michael Van Gogh was firing in 180 after 180, and looked like he, he just was powerless to stop MVG, has been ushered back into this contest. Every time Michael has been in this oh, kind of position in a final, he's got over the line most of the time, but not all of the time. He has lost to the likes oh, of Peter Wright, Michael Smith, and others in this position. So Dimitri can get strength knowing that he hasn't played his best and he's still within one. Maybe his best part of the final is to come. Oh, Maybe. Oh, Ooh, coming. Easy. And Dimitri Vandenberg, normally so placid, normally so calm, flings his arms up in the air. And Michael Van Gerwen reminds him he's not the only one on stage who can do that. Maybe another one coming. I was optimistic. Oh, Not enough to leave a finish. MVG has wrestled control of this leg away from Dimmy. Might be handing it straight back to him. Oh, hey, poor last start. That's an awful visit turned into a good one in the end because it's got him to a two darter. Just goes to show the good thinking as well because he knew 419's left 100. Oh, 83. Might we require 100? Another key battle on two darters. He's going north. And doesn't quite double down, so Dimitri could be level. The crowd, who have predominantly been in his corner for the last 11 legs, would wake up even more if this goes in. Double 16. Oh, what a chance missed. He's got to know in his heart of hearts that that may have been his opportunity to get back in this.
awkward. Not yeah, too awkward so though, double ten is there. And Michael Van Gerwen roars. Yes, he made. Michael to throw first. Okay. You look at the numbers and you think MVG should be bossing this game. And he has for portions of it. But it is a lot closer than he would like. That battle that Dimitri was trying to win, either 4-0 or 4-1, has to be 4-1 now. It's turned into 3-0 against FVG, who has not lost in a European Tour event since the semi-finals in Munich. And he's already exercised that ghost. Yeah, it was the 7-0 battering in the hands of Luke Humphries. The last time we'll see MVG beaten on the Euro Tour in months and months and months. It could happen. It may be the last time ever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look what you've done, Humphries. It's a good standard. 101 average for Michael. Dimitri hanging on with an 88. Look forward. 10 maximums in this match. Six for Michael, four for Dimitri. All the stats read for good, apart from the first nine and the overall average for Dimitri, but he's he's fought really valiantly. 93. But one he's battle he's lost could lose him this whole thing. All 131. Title darts incoming for mighty Michael Van Gerwen. He won in Hildesheim, 8-5 against Rob Cross. He won in Graz 8-5 against Danny Noppert. And that 180 applies some pressure. But it does not matter, because Michael Van Gerwen beats Dimitri Vandenberg 8-5. He is the leading player in Leverkusen and the leading player on the European Tour in 2022.